Well, still in East Africa, Kenyan farmers are embracing friendly irrigation systems that keep their plants watered around the clock throughout the year. Viewers Paul Ndiho has more. Irrigation can be a problem for small-scale farmers in Africa. In Kenya, many are harnessing that power to help them irrigate their fields. Drip irrigation can mean the difference between living on the breadline or being able to grow an agricultural business. Peter Mathenge has installed solar panels in his field to power a drip field irrigation system on the outskirts of Nairobi. For me, solar irrigation kit is very important. Uh, without it, we spend $300 every month, actually more than $300 every month, to buy diesel. And uh, with agro-solar irrigation kit, we use it. Uh, we use the sun, we're making good use of the sun. Besides, we are no longer needed to employ uh, three staff to water, to do the watering all the time. You reduce that to one, which brings to about 30% reduction in the cost of labor. Samia Ibrahim and his business partner developed the system to address Kenya's irrigation inadequacy. Their company Sun Culture created the Agro Solar Irrigation Kit. Sun Culture designs, manufactures, sells, and distributes solar powered irrigation systems in Africa. We were the first company in Africa to commercialize solar powered irrigation. We have just released Africa's most affordable irrigation kit, and we're the only SME in the world providing a turnkey solar powered irrigation solution for farmers. Samia Ibrahim was one of the African innovators competing at the recently concluded AG Innovation Summit organized by USAID. The event attracted more than 50 agricultural technology innovators and investors to present and invest in game-changing technologies that will help small farmers improve their productivity and competitiveness. So it pumps water to an elevated tank using the power of the sun and then uses the gravity to release water through irrigation, delivering water effectively to crop roots. And we sell directly to farmers in Kenya and in East Africa. Ibrahim wants more farmers to have access to technology and says it will change the future of farming. A farmer in Kenya wants, a, wants a, one of our products. Um, the farmer calls us. We send a technician to our farm. The technician does a survey on our farm. We give her a quote, and as soon as she pays, we deliver the product directly to our farm the next day, and one of our trained technicians and agronomists goes, installs the system, gives her training, and gives her agronomy support on the spot. Many Kenyan farmers irrigate their farms by flooding the land from nearby rivers, dams, wells, and boreholes which can erode and deplete the soil of its much-needed nutrients. Methenge is quick to know the benefits of embracing new technology. If Africa is to break through, if we are ever to break through uh, as, as farmers, uh, we got to start embracing technology, and that's what we have done. Without technology, uh, this piece of land, this small piece of land here, uh, you, you could harvest something like 90 kg per week, but we, after embracing technology, we are harvesting uh, on average 160 kgs of bullet chilies in an eighth of an acre. And when you look at the garlic that we have just harvested uh, in one acre without technology, without uh, uh, drip irrigations and other related technologies, you only harvest uh, 4,000 maximum, 4,000 kg after four months. But with the technology, you can go up to 10,000, which is times uh, 2.5. The Sun Culture kits range from 400 to 2,500 US dollars. Although Ibrahim claims the farmers will recoup these costs over several harvests by saving on labor, maintenance, and fuel costs. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Washington.